so after that little PSA, fuck it, I'm just gonna stay up here until they drag my ass off with the chain. That's what I do, you know, you know. Alright, so I have to say, this like show has been, uh, it's been very good for me. I mean, we got like the hot black guys talking about their balls and with their dicks out, and then we got the hot chick like half dressed talking about the vibers. This is like a fucking bisexual spread dream come true. Why didn't I do these shows? Like more. And uh, oh, just to let you know, honey, uh, my nickname is Thoroughbred. So after my set, meet me in the bathroom, I'll learn you something. So, and on that note with sex, um, I got my new shirt that says Love Condoms. It's kind of like an oxymoron though, because I hate condoms. That's like, seriously, that's like eating candy with the wrappers still on. Shit. <laughs> I'm a gambler, I like Vegas, I don't care. Fucking Russian roulette, baby. I actually, I got this shirt because AIDS Healthcare Foundation in West Hollywood in Santa Monica, they're giving out free t-shirts if you get the little AIDS test. And so I marched my ass in there, and I told the guy, like he's asking me all these questions like, have you ever had like sex without a condom? Are you sexually active? I'm like, yeah, no shit, that's why I'm getting the test. So. But uh, I told him, like, honest, I was like, look, I said, uh, I'm just kind of here to get the t-shirt. I really don't care about the results. <laughs> and then, like, you know, he, like, they, bless their heart, like, they try to make you feel better about it. Like, they explain, like, what they're doing and shit. So he's like, oh, you know, this is just going to be a little prick. You're not going to feel it, you know, when they draw the blood. And I'm just like, child, believe me, you're not the first queer that's told me that. <laughs> so I had a nickel. Just a little prick and you don't fucking feel it. God damn it. Oh my god, you gotta bear with me guys. I'm really fucked up on pills and booze right now. Mike was talking about he gets fucked up at midnight. Like, I started at 2 o'clock a.m. Ooh, I, speaking of being really fucked up in the morning. Okay, so I read this like article about like this UK like representative, like politician dude who was talking about how like gay people have like 20,000 sexual partners in their, to quote him, short, miserable lives. <laughs> I read that and I was like, what fucking amateurs is he talking about? Because I have 20,000 sexual partners in my short, miserable day today. I don't give a shit, that's why I don't have any guests here. I was too busy fucking to promote it, so. Well, as long as, like, this isn't being filmed, um, you guys want to hear some dirt about some red carpet stuff? Yeah. yeah? Okay, so, like, no fucking cameras because I don't want any celebrities to sue me because I don't fucking have anything. All right, so I'm gonna break this. I'm like really scared to like take this out because I know I'm gonna fuck it up. Oh my god, that's like fucking dangerous. Shit. Okay, so I was at this red carpet a couple nights ago to honor the 100th birthday for Jackie Coogan. You know, like the little child actor who was with Charlie Chaplin and the kid and he played Uncle Fester in the Addams Family series. So one of the celebrities who was there was Corey Feldman. And you know how he's been like all like, oh, you know, I'm on drugs, but now I'm back in rehab and I'm cool and stuff. Dude, he is fucking fucked up times a thousand. Like whatever you've heard about Corey Feldman, amplify it. So he comes to the red carpet with these two girls that it's obvious that they're escorts. And I mean like escorts like, hey, they're escorting him to a party. But of course they probably fucked him because they probably want to be actresses, right? So. He gets onto the carpet, and he stands like this. It's like, the last time I saw something like that, it was like the fucking uh, history books, you know, with the Cro-Magnon man. And he's got like his little like suit, you know, and it's all like undone, showing his like little chest and shit. So he walks into the carpet, and the photographers are like, Corey, Corey, over here, over here. And he does one of these things, he's like, and the whole time he's just like this. It's like a fucking tennis match. I got like exhausted just watching it. So he goes, he does one of these things. All right, just a minute, man, just a minute. I gotta get my shades on, I gotta get my shades on. And so he turns his back to the red carpet like this, puts his shades on, comes back, takes the photo, and the whole time when they're uh, photographing him, he's just like this, the whole fucking time, the whole fucking time. Yeah, I see the light, that's a minute, right? All right, cool, so we're gonna keep going. I'm not gonna stop until I hear fucking music. And so, okay. 
Real last story before I go. So last night I went up to Santa Barbara for a red carpet for Lou Ferrigno's little bodybuilding competition. And if you guys haven't been to a bodybuilding competition, you have to go. It will show you that there is a baby Jesus and a Santa Claus. Because it is basically like toddlers and tiaras without the stage moms. The fucking girls get like six minutes to do their little routines to like all these like pop songs like Nicki Minaj and Katy Perry. There was this one chick from Greece. They played the wrong music and Lou Ferrigno's son was the host. She gets out, pissed off that her music is off, chases after Lou Ferrigno Jr. who is pissing his pants. He's ru he runs backstage. She's standing there like this, just like yelling at him in Greek, blah, 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 Greek salad, Greek salad, Greek salad. Halfway through her little rant, she turns to the audience, does one of these things, and goes back to yelling at him. Okay, so, since we talked about sex and before I go, I'm gonna end it with like just two little jokes, because fuck it, I'm not being filmed, so I'm gonna just fucking go for it. Okay, so, joke number one, we're gonna do it clean and then end dirty. Joke number one, what do you call gay guys on roller skates? Roll aids. Okay, now. <laughs> Joke number two. Hey, I gotta go with the shirt. It's fucking, I just got my AIDS test. I'm negative. I don't give a shit. Alright, so, did you guys hear about the AIDS joke that went viral? That joke killed in the 80s. Alright guys, thank you so much!